Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord God. Lord, we bless your name this morning, Lord Jesus, for waking us up, oh God, and bringing us to the house of God one more time. We give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise. We thank you, oh God, for having our right mind, Lord Jesus, a mind to praise and worship you, Lord God, a mind to glorify you, Lord God, for all that you are. In Jesus' name we pray. May your heart say amen. And amen. Thank you, Jesus. Our scripture this morning coming from Ecclesiastes um, 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. This is the whole duty of man. For God judges with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be bad, or whether it be evil. The Lord bless the scriptures in Jesus' name. Amen. Father God, in Jesus' name, we thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you, God, for being so good. We thank you, God, for blessing our lives, Lord God. We thank you, Lord Jesus. How you bring us up this morning with our right mind, Lord Jesus, with our health and our strength, oh God. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for blessing our families and our friends, oh God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for blessing all the church members to be here this morning, oh God. We thank you, God, for this wonderful service, oh God, that we going to have today, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for the man of God as he brings forth the word of God, which is food to our soul, Lord God. We ask so God that you're sanctified and blessed, Lord God, as he exalts your word, Lord God, that our ears will be peeled, Lord God, and open unto every word that come out of his mouth, Lord God, or that our soul might be fed, Lord God, that our soul might be blessed, Lord God. Touch in a mighty with us, Lord God. Pour out your anointing, Lord God. Touch every soul, Lord God. Oh, God, we bind everything that's not like you, this Lord God. Every spirit that's not like you, Lord God. Have your way in this house, Lord God. Have your way Lord Jesus. Oh God, in every soul right now, Lord God. Bless everyone to Lord God. To have a mind, Lord God, to surrender their life to you this morning, Lord God. And to worship you, Lord God, in spirit and in truth, Lord God. Lord, move in this house this morning. Bless in this house this morning, God. And we give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. At this time, we're serving the hand of our worship team in Jesus' Hallelujah. name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Can we praise the Lord? Hallelujah. Can we lift our hands? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And just usher in the presence of God for a moment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we lift our voices? Hallelujah. And give praise unto the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I was glad when they said unto me, hallelujah, let us go into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Anybody glad to be in the house of the Lord this morning? Hallelujah. The Lord kept us all week long. Hallelujah. And allowed us to be here this morning. Hallelujah. Can we lift our voices and give him praise? Hallelujah. Jesus, you are worthy of the praise, Lord God. Worthy of the honor, Lord Jesus. Worthy is the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we lift our voices? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Can we get on one accord? Hallelujah. And worship the King of Kings. Hallelujah. And the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How sweet it is to be in the presence of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thou art so worthy. Jesus, thou art so one, yeah, no, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, we praise you, Lord God, hallelujah, thank you, Lord Jesus, we worship that wonderful name of Jesus, nobody greater than the name of Jesus, nobody stronger than the Lord God Almighty, hallelujah, can we lift our voice, hallelujah, Hallelujah. Can we saturate the room with praise? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. There is nobody like him. Hallelujah. Anybody ready to praise the Lord this morning? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to go and praise. Hallelujah. Unto the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty 
God we serve. Angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Sing what a mighty, what a mighty God we serve.
come to do. I don't know what you come to do. I don't know what you come to do. I don't know what you come oh, to do. Oh, you and you and you and you. You and you and you and you. You and you and you and you. Oh, I came to clap my hands. I came to talk my feet. I came to lick timber. I came to lick timber. I came to clap my hands. I came to talk my feet. I came to lick timber. I came to lick timber. I don't know what you come to do. 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 To look at you, I ain't come to look at you. I didn't come to look at you. I ain't come to look at you. I come to clap my hands. I come to tuck my feet. I come to lick timber. I come to lick timber. I come to give and praise. 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 Cheese! 
Jesus. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. All my soul. Hallelujah. And all that is within me. Bless his holy. Hallelujah. Bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Hallelujah. And all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Let's bless that wonderful name. Let's bless that wonderful name. Bless that name. Bless that name of Jesus. Bless that name of Jesus. Bless that name of Jesus. Oh, bless that name. Bless that name. Bless that name. Bless that name. The name of Jesus. Bless that name. The name of Jesus. Bless that name. No greater name than the name of Jesus. No greater name than the name of Jesus. No powerful name than the name of Jesus. No powerful name than the name of Jesus. Say, what's his name? What's his name? Oh, what's his name? Oh, what's his name? That powerful name. That glorious name. That immaculate name. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that he is the Lord, that he is the Lord. Oh, bless that name, the name of Jesus, of Jesus, of Jesus. We bless your name, we love your name, we lift your name, the name of Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. No greater name. Nobody greater. Nobody greater. Nobody greater. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Isn't he worthy? Thank you, worthy Jesus. Thank you, Matchless Father. Hallelujah. You are worthy, worthy. It's the Lord God Almighty. The whole earth is full of His glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Wonderful. Wonderful. Wonderful is His name. Hallelujah. Thank you. Glory. Glory, 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 glory. Jesus. Hallelujah. Nobody like him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. That's why we love him more than anything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we lift our hands? Hallelujah. Worship unto the Lord. There is nobody like him. Oh, how I love him. Thank you, Jesus, because he first loved me. Thank you, Lord. Nobody's like you. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, we praise you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, how we love you, how we love you. How we praise you, how we praise you. How we lift you, how we lift you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, 
I lift my hands in total adoration on to you. You reign on the throne, for you are God and God alone. Because of you, my cloudy days are gone. I can sing to you this song. I just want to say that I love you more than anything. Sing, I lift, I lift my hands in total adoration
morning. Hallelujah. If you think about where the Lord has brought you from, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. I love you, Lord, more than anything. I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah, because you first loved me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Nobody like him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If the enemy would have had his way, hallelujah, I would have been dead a long, long, long time ago. But the Lord stepped in, hallelujah, right on time, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. And he told death to stand back and behave, hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, hallelujah. Thank God for Jesus, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. It's a beautiful thing to worship the Lord. Hallelujah. And to be found in the house of the Lord one more time. Hallelujah. There's such a sweet spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the house. Hallelujah. And if we could take just a few more minutes just to rest in the presence of God. Hallelujah. I don't know what you have to do. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. I don't know what you have to thank God for. Hallelujah. But now is the hallelujah. Now is the time to do it. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you. You're tired. You're not. You're not. You're tired. Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, thank you, Jesus, he's worthy, 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 hallelujah, thank you, Lord, Jesus, worthy, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, all I need is a thought, hallelujah. I don't need a lot of music, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. But if I can remember what the Lord has done for me, oh, that's all I need to give him praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, glory. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He saved me when I couldn't save myself. He loved me when I didn't love myself. He helped me when I couldn't help myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I was a rebellious 14 years old. Hallelujah. I was rebellious. I was angry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I was angry at God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I lost my father when I was 10. Hallelujah. And I was so angry with the Lord. Hallelujah. And I made it up in my heart. I said, I don't want nothing to do with it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I, I grew up in church all my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And at 10 years old, when I lost my father, hallelujah, I was angry at a lot of people, but the person I was angry at the most, I was so angry at God, and I told the Lord, I don't want nothing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I told the Lord, I don't want nothing to do with it. Hallelujah. And I went to church. I went to church with my mom every Sunday, but I would just sit, hallelujah, my arms would be crossed, hallelujah, because I made it up in my heart, I don't want nothing to do with the Lord, hallelujah. I was only 10, hallelujah, but I meant that thing, hallelujah, and I would go to church and I would sit, hallelujah, I would sit on the front row and I had no, hallelujah, no passion, no love, I was just angry, hallelujah and I went on like that hallelujah for four years hallelujah 
Hallelujah. Nobody understood what was wrong. Hallelujah. My mother, she would try to talk to me. My grandmother would try to, hallelujah. People would try to talk to me. Hallelujah. But I was so angry and I couldn't understand. Hallelujah. Why the Lord would break up our family. That's what I thought it was. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That the Lord broke up my family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so I would go to church every, every Sunday, Sunday in and Sunday out. I would still go. Hallelujah. Because my mother made me go, but I would sit down. Hallelujah. And I had nothing to say. Hallelujah. No praise to give because I was angry. Hallelujah. But when I turned 14 years old, hallelujah, I was invited to this church that my mother had been going to. I started going to the AMB church with my grandmother. Hallelujah. Because we got in and we got out. We got in at 10 and we left at 11. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so I would go with my grandmother every Sunday. Hallelujah. And I was happy for that. Hallelujah. Because I didn't, you know, nobody in the AME church, nobody bothers you. You know, nobody um, acts if you, you know, nobody lays hands on you if you don't come up to the altar. So I, I, I enjoyed that, that they would leave me alone. Hallelujah. But my mom, one Sunday, she said, you're going to come to church with me. And I pouted. Hallelujah. I said, I don't want to go to the church you're going to. I want to go with my grandma, not because the spirit is there, but because the spirit is not there. Hallelujah. And it won't bother me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. But my mother, I thank God for my mother. Hallelujah. She dragged me to that church. Hallelujah. And I sat down and my arms were still crossed. Hallelujah. Because I wanted the Lord. I didn't want him to. I knew God was real, but I didn't want nothing to do with it. Hallelujah. And so I sat with my arm crossed. I said, I don't want the Lord to forget. Hallelujah. The promise that I made in my heart that I didn't want nothing to do with it. At 10 years old, I was 14. Hallelujah. 13 going on 14. Hallelujah. But when I sat in that church and the man of God started to preach, hallelujah, started to preach about the love of God, hallelujah, hallelujah, about the restoration of God, hallelujah, the Lord started to talk on my heart, hallelujah, and though I fought and I fought and I fought, hallelujah, my feet were moving to the altar, hallelujah, even though my, my mind, hallelujah, was telling me, stay in your seat, stay in your seat, hallelujah, I could feel myself walking up to the altar, hallelujah, hallelujah, asking for prayer, asking, hallelujah, hallelujah, no Knowing that I was angry at the Lord, hallelujah, but the spirit was so heavy in that church, hallelujah, I knew I wanted to be touched by the Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, and that Sunday, hallelujah, the man of God prayed for me, hallelujah, and I started to have more of a hunger for the Lord, hallelujah, and by the time I was 14 years old, hallelujah, my hunger grew and grew and grew, hallelujah, how many know, hallelujah, that the Lord says, he who hungers and thirsts after righteousness, he shall be filled hallelujah so at the age of 14 years old the lord filled me with the holy ghost i thank god for not honoring hallelujah i thank god for not honoring the promise that i made in my heart that i didn't want anything to do with the lord if the lord would have honored that hallelujah who knows where i would be but i thank god hallelujah that he pulled on me even the more hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. That's my testimony. Hallelujah. And that's why I truly love the Lord. Hallelujah. More than anything. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank God. Hallelujah. That when you want to let go, God will not let you go. Hallelujah. And I went through four years of anger and depression. Hallelujah but he still didn't let me go. Hallelujah. He stepped in right on time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And 14 was the year I went into high school. Hallelujah. And in high school, there's so much more. Hallelujah. So much more that you learn and that you can pick up. Hallelujah. But I thank God that he saved me right before. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Right before I went into a period of life. Hallelujah. Where so many things were going on. I thank God because I wouldn't have been able to handle it. Hallelujah. I wouldn't have been able to, to, to remain. Hallelujah. Um, if it had not been for the Lord. So I thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. Hallelujah. And it's so good to be in the house of the Lord. I didn't plan on testifying. Hallelujah. But I thank God, and I just felt it in my spirit, hallelujah, just to testify of what the Lord has done for me. You are not too far gone, hallelujah, for the Lord to save you, hallelujah. God's reach has no limits, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So I just want to thank God for who he is, and I want to thank God just for being in the house of the Lord this morning. 
Hallelujah. Um, we're so glad to have each and every one of you. We welcome you to Word of Life Church, and we pray that you have been blessed in some way, form, or fashion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God. Um, we're going to go through the announcements. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And make ready for the Word of God. We thank God. Hallelujah. That we have our Monday night weekly prayer and intercession every Monday. Thank you, Jesus. At 7 p.m. where we come to learn, I mean, we come to pray unto the Lord Jesus and make our requests made known. Hallelujah. So that's every Monday at 7 p.m. We thank God for Tuesday night interactive Bible study. Hallelujah. That's also at 7 p.m. where we come to learn more about the Lord on our own respective levels. We have classes for the adults and the young adults in Jesus' name. So take advantage of that. We thank God for our Thursday night prayer call via Zoom. Hallelujah. Via Zoom at 8 p.m. where we come one more time virtually to pray unto the Lord, and that's at 8 p.m. in Jesus' precious name. Just a couple other announcements. We want to thank God um, for our women's ministry um, who will be hosting our prayer breakfast this Saturday, hallelujah, at 9 a.m., hallelujah, and I believe that is the, that's June 1st, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so June 1st at 9 a.m., we'll be having our prayer breakfast, prayer breakfast, excuse me, and we thank God for our speaker, um, Sister Sherilyn White, um, who will be sharing some ex ex excerpts from her book, um, and she'll have a couple copies with her for purchase. So please mark your calendars for that. That's this Saturday, June 1st at 9 a.m. in Jesus' name. Um, we thank God, hallelujah, um, just to remember that we do have prayer on Wednesdays um, at 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m., um, and you can sign up for those times over here on the bulletin board in Jesus' name. We thank God, hallelujah. Um, that we also have prayer at Thursday at 8 p.m., and that sign-up sheet should also be over here on the bulletin board. So if you would like to volunteer to be a prayer leader, please do so in Jesus' name. All of those prayer times are via Zoom. If you need the link for that, um, you can see anyone in the church, and I'm sure that they can give that to you in Jesus' name. Also, continue to remember our sick and shut-in, um, and continue to pray for our elder Washington in Jesus' precious name. These are all of our announcements, so govern yourselves accordingly. Um, to everything that has been said. We thank God it's tithing and offering time in the house of the Lord, and we come to give cheerfully, hallelujah, unto the Lord Jesus, hallelujah. There's a couple ways that you can give. As you gather your gifts, you can give by way of Givelify, and you just download the Givelify app on your phone or, devo or, or device, and you search for Word of Life Church of Sumter. Um, you can give by way of Cash App, and that, do that cash tag is dollar sign W-O-L Church Sumter. Or you can give by mail or in person as we all are here today. All the information is posted on the screen behind me. And as always, we thank you for your faithful giving to this ministry. And we pray God continues to bless you and cause your cup to run over. Hallelujah. If you have gifts in your hand, you can stand. If you have your phone in your hand, you can stand. And if you don't have anything tangible to give, you can still stand and offer yourself unto the Lord in Jesus' name. Lord, as we give our tithes and offerings today. We commit our finances to you. Be in charge of our finances and use them for your purposes. May we be good stewards of all that you give us. We ask that we will live free of, hallelujah, live free of burdensome debt. And where we have been unwise, bring restoration and give us guidance. Give us wisdom to handle money wisely and show us, hallelujah, show us how to plan for the future. Help us to remember that all we have belongs to you and to be grateful for it. We pray that we will not be anxious about finances, but we will seek your kingdom first, knowing that as we do, we will have all that we need according to your riches and glory. In Jesus' name we do pray. Can we say amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You can be directed by the usher on either side. Hallelujah.
said you can lean on me. Oh, Jesus said you can lean on me. Jesus said you can lean on me. I won't let you fall if you lean on me. Oh, Jesus said you can lean on me. Jesus said you can. I won't let you fall if you lean on me. Oh, when the load gets heavy, you can lean on me. Oh, when the load gets heavy, you can lean on me. Oh, when the load gets heavy, you can always I won't let you fall. I won't let 
you fall. I won't let you fall. I won't let you. I won't let you fall if you lean on me. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord that He'll never let us fall. As long as we lean on Jesus, He'll never let us fall. All of the ground is sinking sand, but He's the solid rock on which we stand. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for that in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Just one more announcement that I forgot to um, to announce. Hallelujah. We thank God that our Elder Miller will be preaching in Darlington at 4 o'clock today in Jesus' precious name. So let's continue to keep him in prayer. Hallelujah. And if we can, let's all try to be in attendance. If we need the um, address for that, then um, I believe it's in the chat. Um, if you need to know the address for that. And I'm sure Mother Miller also has it um, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Can we lift our hands? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we pray, hallelujah, for the man of God. Hallelujah. How many are in need of a word? Hallelujah. I know I'm in need of a word from the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. So we're going to stretch our hands towards the man of God, towards Elder Redwood, as we pray for him in Jesus' precious name. Lord God, we thank you right now, hallelujah, for your spirit. We thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, for your communion with us thus far, Lord God. Lord, and we pray right now for our Elder Redwood as he comes to bring forth the word of God. I ask you, Lord Jesus, that it would come forth with such a power and a demonstration, Lord God, hallelujah. Lord, that it would change, Lord Jesus, something in us, Lord God, and we'd be able to walk righteously, Lord God, when we leave the four walls of this church, Lord God. I pray, hallelujah, that if it comes to rebuke, Lord, let us receive it. If it comes to encourage, let us receive it. Whatever your word is sent forth to do, let it do just that, Lord. And let us have a heart to receive in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Pour back into him what he pours out unto your people, Lord. And we'll be so careful to say thank you and to praise you in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for our visitor. Hallelujah. Our visitors in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for you. Hallelujah. Miss Majorie New Newman. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. She is a guest of Sister Talicia. Hallelujah. Is there anything? Praise the Lord. Anything that you would like to say to us in Jesus' name? years ago. I know you, you would have loved to know that I'm in church today celebrating his birthday. So I'm happy to be here. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord for that in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Well, we're so happy to have you. Hallelujah. And for you to be here in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to make our hearts ready for the word of God in Jesus precious name. Hallelujah. We call our elder Redwood in Jesus name. Amen. Yes. Praise God. God is good all the time. Hallelujah. All the time God is good. Right, Berlin? Yes. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 
Thank you, Jesus. It's so good to be in the presence of the Lord today. And make another Lord's day. Hallelujah. He has kept us. And we are indeed glad. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. We are no keepers of our own. Hallelujah. Our lives are in God's hands. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. You see, some of us believe that we are big and mighty and we own our lives. But at the snap of a finger, our lives can just cut off like that. And that is why it is very important that we get in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? It's very important that we anchor our souls in Jesus Christ. Right, Sister Talisa? There's no better thing to do than to live in the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. We know, brothers and sisters, that it's a fight for people to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Even us who have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Sometimes it's a struggle to live for God, but it is possible. By ourselves, we cannot do it. But thanks be to God, we can do it through the Lord Jesus Christ who gives us the strength. And that is why, brothers and sisters, we have to pray. We have to fast because that is what is going to help us to traverse this Christian pathway. We are getting closer to the coming of the Lord and the fight is on. The devil is busy more now than ever. Praise the Lord Jesus. And that is why we have to be sober minded. We have to be vigilant. Praise the Lord. As Peter said, for the adversary is not our friend, you know. He's our enemy sister. Praise the Lord. And he goes about like a roaring lion. Praise the Lord Jesus. It's like he wants to eat us. The, the, the Peter says, seeking whom he may devour. Yeah. Mighty God. So if the devil gets you to devour you, to tear you to pieces. Never see a roaring lion? Praise the Lord. That's the intention of the devil. Praise the Lord. And so we have to be sober minded. The mind must be intact. We cannot get out of our minds. Hallelujah. We must keep our minds on Jesus. Amen, brothers and sisters. Our mind must be set on Jesus Christ. Not on these things down here, the natural things. Hallelujah. The writer says we must set our affection on things above. Don't worry about the, 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 the living room suite or the, the house or the gas stove or the refrigerator. Don't worry about those. Are the, the clothes that you have. Don't worry about them. Praise the Lord. Don't worship them. They have. We must have them because they are necessary in this life. But let us set our affection on things above. Hallelujah. Somebody walks into your house. Ah, don't walk on my carpet. No, no. Come on. Those are vanity, man. Huh? Hmm? Take your shoes off and all those things. Those are vanity. That's what Solomon says. They are vanity. We don't worship those things, but we serve a real God. We set our affection on things above. And so we must anchor our souls in Jesus. This is a way of encouragement, brothers and sisters. Let's secure our walk with God. You know, brethren, a lot of persons don't believe that a judgment is coming. You know that? Many persons don't believe that. Because if people, you may be seated for a while. If people had believed that, then we would not have space to put people. Persons would be running to God. Like crazy. But the sad thing about it is that. When they are going to recognize. It's going to be too late. Too late. And you see so many times. We invite them to church. We implore them to come to God. And they rather to go to Myrtle Beach. To bike week or whatever. And get on and go on and go on and go on and go on. And go on with their foolishness. And waste their time serving the devil you invite them to church and they come and they sit and it's too long church keeping too long and they, they watch the clock huh they can't stay for even one or two hours to worship god but they will go to the parties and they will spend all night and they're not watching the clock that's what sin does to us sin enslaves us 
Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. But thank God, Jesus saved me one day. That's a song my grandmother used to sing. He took me out of bondage one day. And now I'm on my way to Canaan's happy land. I used to listen, my grandmother sings it. Thank God. Thank God, you know, Jesus saved me as if God and Jesus is a two, day, but it's, we know it's one. Thank God he saved me one day. I wasn't like this. I wasn't like this, but thank God I'm definitely changed. My life belongs to Jesus. I am not the one I was. I've been rearranged. The story of my life has gone from rats to riches. I never understood, brethren, why before was not this good. But I am definitely changed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I just want to greet you all today in the wonderful name of Jesus. I greet Pastor Mark and his family. I greet Elder Miller and Mother Miller. I greet my wife and family as well in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I greet you, saints, visitors. I greet you. You may not know, but you are really, you are special. Very, very special. You could have been otherwise minded. You could have chosen to stay home. But the fact that you have traveled over one hour to be here, we are not taking that for granted. We are glad you are here. Very, very, and I'm saying that with sincerity, we are glad you took the time out to come. But you know what would make us happier? If you continue to come. And then what would make us happy, happy, happier? If you decide to surrender your life to God. That's what we want. But we're happy that you are here. Sister Talisa, continue to do a good job. Continue to do a good job. I like that. I like that. Praise the Lord. And that's what we ought to do always, to evangelize. Bring persons to church with us. Carry your neighbors. Praise the Lord Jesus. Carry your friends. Carry your colleagues. Carry even your enemies. Carry some of the, the street people them. Find them and bring them, bring them to God because they are not mad. They're just homeless. They can come to church. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. I, I am cognizant of the time. I know there will be a second service this afternoon. And so I was informed that they're going to be leaving at 2.15. All right? Praise the Lord Jesus. There's a song that I would like to sing before I actually go into the word. Praise the Lord. Some may know it and some may not. But let us thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. It says, I don't know about tomorrow. I just live from day to day. I don't borrow from his sunshine, for his skies may turn to gray. I don't worry over the future, for I know what Jesus said. And today I'll walk beside him. For he knows what is ahead. Every step is getting brighter. As the golden stairs I climb. And every burden's getting lighter. Every cloud is silver lined. Here the sun is always shining. There no tear will dim the eye. At the ending of the rainbow, where the mountains touched the sky, were many things about tomorrow. I don't seem to understand, but 
what I know who holds tomorrow. And I know who holds my hand. Many things about tomorrow I don't see to understand. But I know who holds tomorrow. Hallelujah. And I know who holds my hand. I don't know about tomorrow. For it may bring me poverty. But the one, but the one who feeds the sparrow. Is the one who stands by me and the path that be my portion may be through the flame or flood, but his presence goes before me and I am covered with his blood. There are many things about tomorrow, hallelujah, I don't seem to understand, but I know who holds tomorrow, hallelujah, and I know who holds my hand, many things about tomorrow, God, I don't seem to understand. Oh, Lord, I know who holds tomorrow. And I know who holds my hands. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. There are many things about tomorrow that I don't seem to understand. But I know who holds tomorrow. And I know who holds my hand. And as long as we know who holds our hand, we don't have to worry about tomorrow. We don't have to worry about facing the future. Praise the Lord Jesus. We can approach the future with confidence because Jesus is holding our hands and he knows the future. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Could you turn your Bibles with me to Isaiah chapter 43? Hallelujah. Praise God. Isaiah 43. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. Since thou wast precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee, therefore will I give men for thee, and people for thy life. 
Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Even everyone that called, that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, yea, I have made him. Praise the Lord Jesus. Bring forth the blind people that have eyes and the deaf that have ears. I'm going to go to verse 10. He said, Ye are my witnesses, said the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that he may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither there is any after me. I, even I, am the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior. Praise the Lord Jesus. I am going down to verse 18. It says, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of, whole, of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and the rivers in the desert. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you today. Hallelujah. I'm going to be using today as my thought a very big topic. Very big topic. And it says, release the past. Embrace the future. It's a new beginning. Release the past. And embrace the future. It's a new beginning. Praise the Lord Jesus. We have heard these words. There are two words. Release and embrace. I, I don't think these are strange words to us. They are familiar words. Amen? Now, release, I, I, I have recognized, it has various meanings. Because you know some words, they have various meanings. Praise the Lord Jesus. And so sometimes when we are doing, when we are find, looking for the meaning of a word, we have to find the one that closely matches the situation. Amen. And so I have chose this meaning for release. It says to let go of something or someone. Amen. To let go of something or someone. Praise the Lord Jesus. If you release someone or something, it means that you, you, you stop holding on to them. You let them go. Amen? Praise the Lord Jesus. So in simple term, release means to let go of. So let go of the, the past. Praise the Lord Jesus. Now the word embrace, it means to take up especially readily or gladly. So you gladly take something. Or you gladly accept it. Praise the Lord Jesus. It also means to grasp or to hug. Praise the Lord. To hold on to. Praise the Lord. So if, if I embrace something, I, I hold on to it carefully. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. If you embrace somebody, you, you hold them so close to you. You see them as something, someone who is special. So when you hold on to something or when you embrace something, it, 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 it means so much to you that you want to hold on to it. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Embrace it also implies a ready or happy acceptance. So when you embrace something, you happily accept it. Praise the Lord. You are ready to accept it. Praise the Lord Jesus. Now, Many of us, brothers and sisters, are, or should, should I say all of us, have been through some situations in our lives, in the past. We have had pa our past, praise the Lord. Because our past is, is what has gone. Our, our present is what really is happening now. And our future is what to come, what is to come. We don't know the future. Praise the Lord Jesus. No one of us knows the future unless we are our prophets or unless the Lord, the Holy Ghost, reveals something to us as to what is going to happen. But one thing for sure, we serve a God who knows the future. Amen? Praise the Lord Jesus. And so we have had our past. We know about our past. We can testify 
about our past. If I should ask us today to get up and tell us something that happened in your past, may you can tell us, whether good or bad. So we have had some good experiences in the past. We have had some bad experiences. Amen. So we can testify to that. Praise the Lord. But many times we, we, we tend to hold on to the past or we remember what has happened in the past. Because that's how the brain is. Sometimes it's hard to forget things. Praise the Lord. And so we will hold on to the past. We think about the past. Praise the Lord. A lot of persons sometimes, no matter how much you have changed your, your past, they will tend to want to remind you. You, rem you remember when you did that? Even if it, if it is 100 years after, we still will remember the past. Praise the Lord Jesus, whether good or bad. We can talk about when we were out there in sin. Amen? When we used to do this and when we used to do that and all of those things. That's our past. Praise the Lord. But the thing about it, brothers and sisters, our past should not define our present or even our future. Praise the Lord Jesus. Our past is our past. Praise the Lord. The writer says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All right? All things are passed away. And behold, all things become new. And so it doesn't matter how you used to operate, what you were like 10, 15 years ago. Praise the Lord Jesus. It's not for you to, be, to dwell in on that. But it's for you to think about who you are now. Hallelujah. And what your future is going to be. Now, we talk about new beginnings. New beginnings can mean a, a fresh start. Praise the Lord Jesus. We, we know that many times when we, we, we start a new year, persons will make New Year's resolution. And they will say, I put away the things. I've done some things last year. This year, I'm not doing them. I am a new Seymour. I am a new Jabari. Praise the Lord Jesus. This is the new year. And they say, new year, new law, and all those things. So when we talk about new beginning, we are talking about a fresh start. Hallelujah. Sometimes we talk about a new job, right? We talk about a new job. We talk about a new house, new car. Praise the Lord Jesus. Move into a new area, a new community. Starting a new relationship and all those things. Hallelujah. We even talk about a new phase of our lives. I want to be a better child of God. Praise the Lord. I want to start a new with the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to clean out that past, that old page, and I want to turn over a new page. I want to get closer to the Lord Jesus Christ this year. Praise the Lord Jesus. So we're talking about new beginning. New beginning as well, it can also mean that you become tired. Amen? You become tired of the old life that you used to live. Praise the Lord. You're tired of living the same old, same old way. And you decide you're going to change your lifestyle. You're going to change for the better. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Now, our God, the God that we serve is a God of new beginning. Praise the Lord Jesus. He's a God that can transform our lives. Hallelujah. He's a God that can change us completely. Praise the Lord Jesus. So he specializes in new beginning. The Lord Jesus Christ he specializes in transforming people's life. That's what he is. Hallelujah. We describe him as, as the master potter. Hallelujah. And as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are we some in the hand of the Lord Jesus Christ. Many times we may have been marred. We may have been broken. Hallelujah. But the Lord Jesus Christ's desire is to fashion us, to shape us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus to restore us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. David said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. Praise the Lord. He said, He restores my soul. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. So though we may be battered and bruised, 
hallelujah, and torn, hallelujah, if we make ourselves pliable in the hands of the master potter, he will restore us. He will start a new beginning in our lives. Praise the Lord. Job was stripped to nothing. Praise the Lord. But Job said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Job was willing to allow the Lord Jesus Christ to mold him, to start him over, hallelujah, and to give him, hallelujah, a bright future. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. David, he also forgave David. Hallelujah. David said, hallelujah, hallelujah, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie in green pastures. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. And so David knew, hallelujah, though he have transgressed so many times, hallelujah, he was willing to accept, hallelujah, his faults, hallelujah, and allow the Lord Jesus Christ to give him a new beginning, to start him over, to make him over. Praise the Lord Jesus our God, he also turned the chief prosecutors of the Jews, which was so Saul, hallelujah. He transformed him, hallelujah. He, he did away with his past and he made him into a brand new man. Praise the Lord Jesus. And he became one of the greatest apostles. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. So there's nothing that our God is not able to do. Praise the Lord Jesus. The woman of Samaria, she had a past. Praise the Lord Jesus. And everybody knew about her past. Praise the Lord Jesus. She was like, she was a, a prostitute, so to speak. Hallelujah. But when she came in contact with Jesus Christ, hallelujah, Jesus was ready to tell her about her deeds. And she was willing to let go of her past, praise the Lord Jesus, and to step into the future, praise the Lord Jesus Christ, because she knew the God that she was, she came in contact with, hallelujah, praise the Lord Jesus, hallelujah, and so we look today at the scripture, I want to look at this verse, hallelujah, verse 18, it says we have to forget the former things. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Get away. Don't sit down in your past. Hallelujah. But forget the things of the past. The former they are talking about the past. Praise the Lord Jesus. Now it shall spring forth. Do you not perceive or know it. That's what he was asking. I am making a way in the desert and streams in the wilderness or the waste land. Praise the Lord. And so in this case, brothers and sisters, God was actually telling the Israelites that despite their spiritual failures, hallelujah, his mercy still abound for them, hallelujah. So they were like this work always dwelling on their past. Praise the Lord Jesus. But God was saying, hallelujah, I will bring them back from their captivity in Babylon and pour his love upon them. Praise the Lord. So he wanted them to do away with the past. Don't dwell on their past. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Forget it, man. Now is the time that I am going to do a new thing for you. Your past is your past. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. So God was about to take them on a new journey. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. And so the Lord didn't want them to keep sitting down and thinking about, oh, I have done that. I have done that. I've, this was happening and that happened. No. You see, because brothers and sisters, the truth about it, Many times we allow our past to cripple us. We allow our past to prevent us from stepping into the future. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Because our past will hold us back. Praise the Lord Jesus. And prevent us from moving forward forward. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And so God is promising us a new 
beginning. But we cannot get that new beginning unless we let go of our past. Hallelujah. Forget the past. Release the past, man. Have you ever seen those alien balloons when you in release them up and they're just going, let go of the past, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Because if you have to if you're going to get a new beginning, hallelujah, you have to let it go. Let go of the past. Let go of the past. Your past is your past, hallelujah. And you can't step forward. You can't move into the future, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holding on to your past. Praise the Lord Jesus. What did Paul say? Paul says, hallelujah, this one thing I do. Hallelujah. Forgetting the things. Hallelujah. Which are behind. What are the things that are behind? The past. Praise the Lord Jesus. Paul said, I don't yet reach. I still don't have what I need to have. But I am sure, hallelujah, that I am going to forget. I am going to let go of the past. I am going to release the past. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And after I have released the past, I am going to embrace the future. Hallelujah. How am I going to embrace the future? I'm going to reach forth for the things that are ahead. Hallelujah. And press. Press towards the mark for the price of the higher calling in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So if we have to reach that place in God, we have to release the past. We have to let go. Go of the past, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Because, you see, God, he didn't want the Israelites to stay stuck in the past. He did not. Hallelujah. But he, wa he didn't want them to become so discouraged. Because many times the past will allow us to be become so discouraged when we sit and we think of some things that happened to us way back then. We have lost this. Hallelujah. You did that to me. I did that. Hallelujah. I was a messy person. I was a wretched gambler. I used to smoke. I used to this. Hallelujah. And sometimes, to be honest, brothers and sisters, these things, if you are not careful, will cause us to get so discouraged. Hallelujah. But we need to let go of them, man. Let go. Let go of them. Let go of them. Let go of them. Let go the path. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. And God, get a hold. Grab on to the future. Grab on to the future in the name of Jesus Christ. And move forward with God. Move forward with God. Hallelujah. Embrace the future. Hold on to the future. Praise the Lord Jesus. How, how, how can we hold on? As you may say, Brother Redwood, I don't know about the future. So how oh, am I going to hold on to something? How oh, can I have confidence in something that I don't know? Hallelujah. I don't know what the future holds. Mm? So how is it you're going to tell me today that I know my past? So there's nothing wrong in holding on to my past because I know what it is about. But I can't see. I, 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 I am not an eagle like prophet. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. So I can't look into the future. I, I'm not a science man. Hallelujah. I'm not a, 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 a your manner so to speak so how am i going to know what you, what is this man saying hallelujah you're talking foolishness elder hmm? i can't almost i embrace something you want me to hug up something that i don't know about but how am i going to do that you're going to embrace the future because you serve a god who knows the future hallelujah you serve a god who is able to keep you from falling, man. And to present you faultless before his throne. Oh, you're going to embrace the future, sister. Oh, you're going to have faith. It also takes faith in God for you to embrace the future. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. I, I, I know many of us, some, some of us brothers and sisters, we, we, we may have passed through some, some terrible experiences hallelujah praise the lord jesus maybe we have had some 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 broken relationships and and you decide you just tell yourself yes 
one relationship fails and that's it. You just all put your hands down and you, you said, no, I'm not going back into anymore because of this. But I am saying to you, don't allow your past to cripple you. Stop holding on to your past. Let it go. Let go your past. Remember ye not the former things. Hallelujah. Nor consider the things of old for it is a new beginning god is about to do something brand new in your life he's going to turn over a new page in your life so don't be fearful about going into the future don't be fearful about embracing the future because god is with you david said i walk through the valley i will fear no evil for god is with you so if you're approaching your future with god you don't need to be fearful hallelujah the devil will tell you all sorts of things. And the devil will let us continue to hold on to your past. Praise the Lord Jesus. The devil said, that you're, you're going to do that after all of that? You're going to do that after all of that? Tell the devil is a liar. Look the devil in the face and say, devil, I'm stepping into the future. But it God by my side. For there are many things about tomorrow I don't seem to understand. But I know who holds tomorrow. And I know who holds my hand. And as long as he holds my hand, I am going to embrace. I am going to embrace the future. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So many times, brothers and sisters, we hold on to the past so tightly. You know though, yes, many times we hold on to the past so tightly so that it becomes impossible for us to do what? Embrace the future. Yes, we, we cannot hold the future and the past together. Praise the Lord. So the only way we can embrace the future is if we release the past. Hallelujah. We release the past. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. But that's not what God wants. He wants to give us a new beginning. God wants to give us a new beginning. But we have to do what? Release the past. We have to release the past. Praise the Lord Jesus. We must release the past in the name of Jesus Christ. C come here, Sister Redo. Praise the Lord. Sometimes, brother, hold me. Hold me. Hold me. All right. So she's my past. Amen. She's my past. Praise the Lord Jesus. Figuratively speaking. She's my past. Praise the Lord Jesus. And I let go. She let me go, but I'm still holding on. Let me go. Let me go. But my past has let me go. My past, and I'm still holding on to my past. Many times your past let you go, brothers and sisters. Your past released you, but you're still holding on to your past. Because what? You love your past. Praise the Lord Jesus. And your future is ahead of you. You can't even hold your future because what? You're holding on to your past. Let go of your past and grab a hold of your future. Let go of your past. For your past may not be good enough. Your past has let you go. Your past has released you. But it's for you now to release your past. You cannot go forward unless you release your past. You can't go forward unless you let go. Release your past, Virgin. Release your past. Because God wants to give you a new beginning. He wants to give you a brand new start. He wants to give you a fresh start. Forget either former thing. Remember not the former things. Nor consider the things of old. Because what? God says he's going to do what? He's going to do a new thing. A new thing. A brand new thing. Hallelujah. You don't believe it. You don't believe it. Watch and see. Let go of your past. And embrace the future. And see what God is about to do. In your life. He's going to turn your situations around. 
I said God is going to turn your situations around. He's going to make something. He said I'm going to make a way in the wilderness. Hallelujah. Sorry. Provide water in the wilderness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can water come out of the, is in the wilderness? Huh? Hallelujah. Water in the desert. Hallelujah. A desert is a dry place. And God said he's going to make a way. He's going to provide water. Hallelujah. That's faith. Because God is a God that specializes in things that are important. Possible. And so you may look and say, this is not possible, but the God that we serve is about to turn, hallelujah, your desert, hallelujah, your dry situation, hallelujah, into, hallelujah, water is going to turn, hallelujah, your path, your wilderness is going to provide a way for you to walk through, hallelujah, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus Christ. But what? You have to let go. You must release your past. You must let go of your past and trust God. Trust God. Move in towards the future by faith. Hallelujah. There's still a lot in you. There's still plenty in us brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. We have to know how to trust God to move forward into the future. Praise the Lord Jesus. Because God knows your future. And God is saying to your brother Tracy. I have your future. I have great things for you. Hallelujah. Many things about tomorrow. You may not understand. But your future is in God's hand. But I want you to let go of your past. And hold on. Um, embrace the future. Hug up the future brothers and sisters. Hold on. Hug it up. Hallelujah. Don't let your past crisple you anymore. Years and years and years. We have been carrying the burden. We have been carrying past hurt. We have been carrying past failure. We have been carrying past mistakes. Hallelujah. You did one something wrong. And you're just allowing it to kill you. Mighty God of Daniel. Let it go brethren. Release it in Jesus name. I said release it. Release it. New beginning for you. New beginning in Jesus Christ. Don't be afraid to step out into the future. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid. The devil may be telling you all sorts of things. Hallelujah. And you're considering, should I or should I not? <laughs> should I or should I not? But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let your past go. It's a new beginning. <laughs> new beginning. <laughs> release, release, release. Release the past, man. Hallelujah. You let your past bury you too long. Too long you've been buried in your past. Your past throw you down and cover you up. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let go the hurt. Let go the hurt. Somebody hurt you 10 years ago and you're still carrying it. Let it go, man. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go. The hurt has let you go. But you're still holding on to the hurt. The hurt has let you go. You're you love the hurt so much. You see, when my past let me go, because I love her so much, I don't want her to go. You love your past too much. Holy Ghost. But you cannot. Remember ye not the former things, brothers and sisters. Neither consider Jesus, Jesus, the things of old. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. You don't believe God? You don't know it. Remember, no. I, I have done it already for you. Hallelujah. And if I did it for you already, why can't you trust me? Why can't you trust me for the future? Hmm? You, you, you're coming towards the future, but you're timid. You, you're, you're putting one. You're moving timidly, man. Trust God to take you into the future. Let go of your past. 
Let it go, brothers and sisters. Because what? Your past is going to prevent you from getting into heaven. Your future is bright. Your future is bright, but you're holding on to the past, man. If you could just release it, release it, release it. Because it's a new beginning. Things are going to turn around for you. Hallelujah. Your finance is going to turn around. You're holding on to it. And say, boy, I remember 10 years ago, I didn't have any money. It's a new beginning for you right now. It's a new beginning. New job. New house. New car. Hallelujah. Don't dwell on the past, brothers and sisters. The only way you're going to dwell on the past is when you remember that, listen, God did this for me. I remember when I was sick and God healed me. That's the only time you're going to hold it. Because what? You're going to use it to help you to move forward into the future. Hallelujah. But you see those old things? And that is what God said to the Israelites. Hallelujah. That's what he said to them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He says, Thus saith the Lord, verse 16, which make it a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters. Remember, he, he, he delivered them out of that Egypt before. Praise the Lord Jesus. So that is what he wanted them to remember. Praise the Lord Jesus. He wanted them to trust him because what? God did it before and so he's going to do it again. He's capable. He did it in the past and so he can do it in the future. Hallelujah. And so we want you brothers and sisters... To remember that God is able. You must release the past and hold on. Hold up the future. Because what? It's a new beginning. Things are going to change for you. And I'm closing. I'm coming down. Hallelujah. Things must change. Praise the Lord. Things must be different. For with Christ in the vessel, you can smile at the storm. Brothers and sisters, don't be discouraged. Don't be afraid to venture into the future. Pray fast if you need to make a decision in your life that you are, you are, you are contemplating. Hallelujah. Because of past experience. Don't bother to, with that man. Let it go. Forget the past ex bad experience that you have had. And pray and trust God to take you safely safely into your future because your future is going to be bright. <laughs> Things are going to turn around for you. What you experienced in the past is going to be totally different from what you're going to be experiencing in the future. For it's a new beginning for you. Hallelujah. It's a new beginning for you. So step into your future with confidence. Hallelujah. Pass. I throw up the past. Let go. Release him. Lay aside the weight and the sin. The weight, the past is weight. And the sin that easily beset you. And run. Sit the race ahead of you. Run. Run with patience. The race that is set before you. Looking unto Jesus. Let go. So you lay go. Let it go. Shake off the past, brothers and sisters. Let it go. Send it out. Cast it out of your life. Cast the past. You have held me down too long. Too long. Every time I get down to pray, it's you coming up before me. Every time I want to step forward, you come reminding me. You're digging up my whole sins. You're digging up my whole past. You're digging up all what Sister Lauren did to you. Oh God Almighty. Oh God, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Please. Release it. Release it in the name of Jesus. Release it. Release it. Remember ye not the former things. For God is about to do something new in you. New in your life. The hatred, the anger, the bitterness that you have been holding on to. Hallelujah. God is about to turn your life around. New beginning. New beginning. But you have to be willing to give up Hallelujah. Willing to give up the past. 
Hallelujah. Willing to let it go. Because if you don't let go the past, if you don't release it, if you don't release the past, you cannot move forward. Get up, shake off yourself, man. Shake it off of you. Whatever it takes to get off the past, shake it off. And embrace the future. Your future is bright with Jesus. Your future is bright with Jesus. Your future is bright with Jesus. Hallelujah. But there's going to be a new beginning. It's a new beginning. Hallelujah. I am going to be a brand new man. Things are going to turn around for me. Things are going to change. Hallelujah. You're being in sorrow. You cry yourself day and night to sleep. You worry about the things that you have done and what have been happening to you. Because what? You keep holding on to your past. But I implore us today, as I bring this sermon to a close, release the past. Embrace the future. It's a new beginning. Can we all stand today? Can we all stand? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As we are about to close this service, eight minutes to four. Is there anybody today that has been tugged down with your past? Your past has been creeping you. Each time you want to move forward, the devil is saying you can't move forward because of so and so. Hallelujah. Today is the day. You need to let it go. Give it all to Jesus. God said, cast your cares on me. Hallelujah. Because I cares for you. Oh, mighty God. Mighty God. Remember ye not the former things. Neither consider the things of old. Behold, I am going to do a new thing in you. You don't believe it? I am going to make a way in the wilderness. And water, that's what the Lord says. And water. He didn't say, I have me now. I will, which means the what? To come. The future tense will. Will make. Depicts the future. And that is why you're going to hold on. Embrace the future. Because if God says it, it's going to happen. So God wants you to let go of your past. And trust him to take you safely into the future hallelujah 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 can we all just lift our hands today and give god the glory thank you jesus hallelujah 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 your future may look dim in your eyes but if you trust god it's bright a new beginning is going to come into your life things are going to turn around in your life as long as you believe and trust God. And as long as you are willing to let go of your past. Then you are going to see the greatness and the great things that the Lord is about to do in your life. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We have Miss, I don't remember her name, but she's here today. She has stepped forward. She has made that brave move to move forward. Because... She has been holding on to her past and she wants to release it today so that her future can be bright. She can step into the future with confidence. God is about to do something new in her, her life. And brethren, I just want us to believe God for her. She didn't come here today by accident. She came here by divine appointment. You heard her testimony. She said she wanted to be in church. Today is her husband's birthday. And can you imagine, hallelujah, thinking about your husband on his birthday, the past. But today, God is going to do a new thing in her life. Let's believe God for her. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We are going to be praying for her. We are going to pray for her right now. Let's all come and we are going to pray for her in the name of Jesus. And we are going to believe the Lord. Hallelujah for her. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 
Hallelujah. Miss Newman, we are going to be praying for you, ma'am. And there's no, no distance in prayer. God can do anything. There's nothing too hard for God to do. The Lord knows your situation. He knows everything about you. And the Lord is going to do a new thing in your life today. He's going to do a new thing. You have been holding on to your past for too long. But today, I implore you. Your past has released you. But let go of your past. Hallelujah. And step into the future with Jesus. Hallelujah. If you are not saved, think about getting your soul saved. Hallelujah. And that's the best way to move into the future with God. In the name of Jesus Christ. For God can turn your situation around. He can turn your sorrow into joy. He can turn your darkness into light. That's the God we serve. Brethren, let's pray for her right now. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. God can even fill you with the gift of the Holy Ghost at this altar. If you believe him, he's able to do anything. Father, in the name of Jesus, we present to you, Lord, Miss Marjorie Newman, Lord Jesus. I know, God, that with you, Lord, all things are possible. Father, I pray that God Almighty, that you, Lord, will touch her right now. Father, Lord Jesus, and I pray, God, her past has been haunting her, Lord. Oh, God, so many bad memories have been coming up before her. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, hallelujah, I pray, dear God, that she will release her past today. Oh, and embrace the future with confidence. Oh, dear God Almighty, that you are going to do something new in her life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, we pray that, Lord, you will touch her right now. Oh, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, I speak in her circumstances right now. Oh, God, in her situation, break every fetter right now. Spirit of the living God, hallelujah. Move upon her right now, God. Father, do a new thing in her life, mighty God. Turn her life around, mighty God. Father, I pray that Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that she'll be willing, Lord. Oh, God Almighty, let go of the past in the name of Jesus. Father, you promise, dear God Almighty, that you're going to do a new thing. Hallelujah. In her. Oh, mighty God, I pray, dear Lord, that you'll touch her heart, touch her mind. Release your anointing upon her right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, break every fit. Break every stronghold right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Turn her life around, mighty God. Release, oh God Almighty. Your power has and your anointing upon her right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Spirit of the living God. Do a new thing, God. Make a way, Lord, in the wilderness. Provide water in the desert place right now. Hallelujah. Let it bring forward, my God. In the name of Jesus. Father, we commit her right now into your hands. Release your power higher. Release her and your anointing upon her life right now, God. Father, turn her mourning into dancing. Turn her sorrow into joy, mighty God. Do a new thing for her, Lord Jesus. Oh, mighty God. Lift her up, Lord. Strengthen her, God Almighty. Even as she celebrate God Almighty. Oh, God, today. Father, I pray that you, Lord Jesus, will give her the peace that passes all understanding. Soothe her mind, oh God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Loose and let her go. Loose her right now, Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, let your will be done, Koshanda. Let your will be done, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Father, as we go right now, we are going in your name, Lord. Cover us, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. 
Father, here we are right now. Oh God, as we present our elder before you right now, Jesus, we ask dear God Almighty, the Lord Jesus Christ, you know him. You understand every heartache. You understand every pain. Lord Jesus, as I lay my hand upon him right now, oh God, we signify the hand of God. Let your blood, let your power move through me, God Almighty. And let the anointing move upon him. I pray, God, that he'll be willing, uh, Almighty God, to leave himself into your hand. Uh, oh, God, and let go of the past right now. Uh, oh, and embrace the future uh, with confidence, mighty God. Uh, every weight, uh, every sin, hallelujah. Everything, hallelujah, that bothers him, right, God. Uh, I pray, God, that he will be willing. Uh, to will let go, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and God, as he minister your words this afternoon, Lord, we pray God Almighty that the anointing will be upon him. Use him, mighty God, in a mighty way, Lord Jesus. Let your will be done, my God, by the anointing from the crown of the head to the soles of his feet, my God. Father, I pray, God Almighty, the Lord Jesus Christ will speak to him, God, granting journey mercy, God. Let him be, hallelujah, an inspiration to someone in that service today. Let your will be done in his life, mighty God. Grant him a new beginning. Grant him a new life, oh God, in you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we commit him, Lord, in your hands. Bless him, Lord. And let your will be done in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. you god bless you brothers and sisters praise the lord jesus remember the service starts at four praise the lord jesus for, for those who are going you're leaving at what time you said elder two